I have said, sent several sets of questions. Have all of you got it or not? I mean, have all of you received it? This question? Uh, let me share it. Have all of you got this question? I guess there were around 90 questions that I have prepared and I have sent. There were altogether 10 sets of questions. Some are saying yes, sir. Some saying no, sir. Some of us are very so, new to your class. Uh, okay, then I will be sending these files once again. Uh, yes, uh, I will send it to your Viber group and make sure that first you attempt all of them on your own. And then I will provide you with the answers. I have already prepared the answers yesterday. And don't. And my humble request, don't keep on asking the answers. Don't keep on sending the questions in the middle. After all of you have completed, immediately in the next lesson, I will be sharing you the answers after I confirm that all of you have already done it. But today, I will send this once again, uh, the PDF format. And today, we are going to start with uh, prepositions. The rest of the prepositions that I'm going to attempt that we are going to attempt today and those who are new it takes time to add up to my class this is online and obviously it will be a little bit different than the physical class uh, i will start in the same file prepositions in on that they have two uses. One as prepositions of time and the other they can be also used as prepositions of place. Prepositions of time and prepositions of place in an ad can be used both as prepositions of time and prepositions of place. But before, before we go into their uses, Let's start with let's start with some scratches like the difference between for and since one question is obvious, one question is quite prominently asked in your exam is the difference between for and since. For example, for is used used with period or duration of time, whereas since is used with point of time. And most of the time, a question related to either for or since is repeatedly asked in your exam. Examples. I have been teaching English for 10 years. This is 1999, point of time, 10 years, period or duration of time. We use for with period or duration of time and since with point of time, since last Saturday, since evening, point of time for two, for two hours, for two hours, for three days, duration of time. Since is used with point of time, 
buffer is used with period of time. Since you can count the number of alphabets in the letter, one, two, three, four, five. There are five alphabets in since. And point also, there are five alphabets. One, two, three, four, five. So since we use with point of time for three alphabets, see, you can use this formula to remember as well so that you won't get confused. F O R one, two, three alphabets. Nepali Mapani Bandino. I'll try. For with has three alphabets P E R I O D. See period of time. This also has one, two, three, four, five, six. Three into two, six, five, five. Since is used with point of time, four is used with period of time. Have you understood what I actually mean, the formula, so that you won't get confused? Count the number of alphabets in since. One, two, three, four, five. And count the number of alphabets in point. One, two, three, four, five. So five, five match. Since is used with point of time. Take a point, one pinpoint time. When something begins at one pinpoint, one given time, we use since when we have duration of time. Eti deki, eti summer. We use for. And the next obvious question that you might be asked is the difference between B E S I D E beside and B E S I D E S besides. Beside means by the side or by someone's, someone or something's side, by my side, either right or left. Whereas, Besides means in addition to. Wherever you can replace the word besides with in addition to, and if that makes sense, then use the preposition besides. And besides is usually followed by comma, and it is used in the beginning of the sentence most of the time. Most of the time. For example, in is sitting beside Mohan, either right or left. And besides, I like mangoes. Besides, I also like grapes. Means in addition to the mangoes, I also like prefer grapes. In addition to the mangoes, I also like, this means in addition to the mangoes, I also like grapes. And preposition especially before moving into the difference between in and at as preposition of time and in and at as preposition of place, what we need to know is preposition means pre means before Position means position means the state or the condition. And it states, preposition especially states the relation of one noun with the other, or the position of one noun in respect to the other. Position of one noun with in respect to the other noun. Preposition states the position of one noun in respect